Um, I'm Gretchen Winters. For some reason, the uh, my face isn't showing, but that's probably good because my hair is kind of messy today. Um, sometimes it shows, sometimes it doesn't. But anyhow, I'm Director of Marketing and um, want to welcome you all to um, joining us for this Royal Caribbean evening. We're going to talk about sun and fun, oh, which we all could use, and focus a little bit on Coco K. Um, but again, thanks for joining us. Um, what we'll do at the end of the uh, presentation, I have you all muted, but if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the chat box. And then we've got a small group so we can open it up um, after that for um, questions, uh, audio, or if you want, like I say, put them in the chat box, do that. We also are recording this and we'll have it up on our website under um, services under travel seminars. So if there's anybody that you know that you, would be interested in learning more or any friends or family that you want to travel with, um, direct them there to, to uh, learn more about it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. We have John Winters, our uh, account manager for Royal Caribbean, and he is going to tell us all about their beautiful ships, beautiful Coco Cay, and any kind of offers there are. So take it away, John. Okay. Before I get started, Gretchen, I have a uh, message on my screen that says Robin entered the waiting room. And do you see that on okay. yours? Um, she's there. She's on. I think she that was an old one when she came in. So okay. don't you worry all your right. pretty little head about that. I'll take care of that. You just do all the Royal Caribbean talk. I'll take care of the rest of it. Oh, all right. All right. Thanks. We'll go from there. Well, welcome, everyone. Good evening. Thanks for uh, taking the time to join us here today. Burst Travel and Royal Caribbean. Uh, very. And. Uh, get uh, started with this so um just have to see why it's not working there it is it's moving okay so we're back on the water after quite a long time almost two years not being uh, out on the water so if you want to take a look at the numbers uh we've had um since um a year ago we started cruising in asia um, out of uh, singapore and uh, since then, Royal Caribbean, we've had over half a million guests that have uh, sailed with us. We have 21 of 26 ships back at sea. I think the only ships that aren't back at sea, we've got a couple that are um, sitting here, and we've got a couple that are in Australia, New Zealand, which isn't open to cruising yet. But we have 16 home ports to choose from, 50 different ports of call that we're visiting right now. We've made over 168 stops at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. And we've had almost 300,000 people visit uh, Coco Cay, which is our private island. And as Gretchen mentioned, that's one of the things that we're going to focus on because uh, so many of our ships stopped there um, that we thought it would make sense to do that. Uh, so we've got a short video here. Hopefully that's uh, working on your end. So that gave you just a quick little preview of uh, life on board a Royal Caribbean ship. I want to talk a little bit about our Royal Promise. And our Royal Promise to you is healthy ships, happy guests. Um, as I said, we've had more than half a million uh, guests sailed safely with us, 21 ships back at sea. And this is how we did it. Basically, um, we're being, um, maybe some people would say a little overcautious, but we're requiring uh, vaccines from everybody, all guests, 12 and up need to be vaccinated. If they're not vaccinated, they cannot cruise with us right now. Um, all guests age two and up are um, testing before sailing. So they're coming to the pier with a uh, test that's within uh, 48 hours old. Um, so uh, we know that they've been tested. We know that they're vaccinated. If they're kids that are 11 down to two, we will test them at the pier before we let them on the ship as well. And then uh, they get tested uh, partway through the cruise about day five as well. The, cruise is, uh, the crew is 100% vaccinated, and they're all tested uh, very regularly. So, again, we want to stay on top of this as much as we can. And the other thing is that, you know, happy guests, we want you to feel comfortable. So we've got flexibility when you need it. 
um, know that we've got your back. Um, basically, with our new policies that are in place right now, you can cancel up to 48 hours prior to your sailing date and get a full refund as a future cruise certificate. So if for any reason you don't uh, feel like it's safe to go or just you've got a bad hair day, whatever it might be, you can cancel and get a full future cruise credit. If by some chance you test positive for COVID within 14 days of sailing, we'll give you a full refund, all your money back, no credits, just a full refund. And we'll get you home too. So if you or a member of your traveling party should test positive for COVID-19 during the cruise, we'll take care of things so you can focus on getting better. Um, any cost related to onboard medical care and travel home, uh, even if we have to get a private jet, is, uh, is all covered by us. Uh, we take care of medical grade cleaning standards, so we've, we've upped the, the game on all of that. 100% fresh filtered air. That's the nice thing about a cruise ship being out in the middle of the ocean. We've got access to plenty of fresh air, and now it's totally, totally filtered. I think in our staterooms, the air turns over like uh, 12 times uh, an hour. In the public places, it's up to 19 times an hour the air is turning over. And then we've got upgraded medical facilities on board and expert care so that we can take care of anybody that might uh, fall ill while they're on the ship. And if you want to see for yourself any of these uh, different um, policies that we have in relation to COVID-19, you can get that information from your travel advisors at Burst Travel, or you can go on the Royal Caribbean website right at the top of the page, COVID-19 update. Uh, all that information will be listed right there. But mainly what we're trying to do is get back to doing what we do best, and that's delivering great vacations. We do that by focusing on you, our guests. We do that by developing the destinations. A good example of that is our private island, Coco Cay, modernizing our fleet. Um, so we, we've got new ships that are coming, and then ships that we've had, we, we keep those up to date. Um, we just did a whole fleet revitalization where we spent hundreds of millions of dollars uh, upgrading the ships so that they'll be perfectly ready for you when you're ready to come back to cruising. And with Royal Caribbean, you can truly explore the world. Uh, we like to try to inspire adventure. And the thing that we're probably most known for is delivering world-class service, and that's with our fantastic crew. Um, we do, uh, as Gretchen said at the beginning, we're going to focus on Caribbean, nice warm destinations, but we do uh, cruise pretty much everywhere. So Alaska, Canada, New England, the Caribbean, Europe, Bermuda, Asia, Australia, New Zealand. So these are all the different places that we go. Now, if you can't decide, I've got the perfect solution with you. Contact your travel advisor at Burst Travel. Book the Ultimate World Cruise leaving next December of 2023. Are you ready for this? This is a 274-night cruise. Um, it, hits all, it hits seven continents, 60-plus countries, 150-plus destinations, 57 new ports that Royal Caribbean has never gone to before, um, we have one whole 274-night cruise. We're starting this month. We're going to be splitting it up into four different expeditions. So you can buy uh, sections of that if you want to. And then we visit uh, 11 World Wonders. Um, so that's our newest thing, the ultimate world cruise that we've got. Otherwise, we do you know, all the typical places you'd expect. We go to Alaska. We go by sea. We go by land. Uh, we go to Europe. We go to Asia. We go to Australia, New Zealand. Um, and our middle name, Royal Caribbean, that's our really our specialty. I don't think anybody has more ships in the Caribbean than we do. Uh, we've been voted best cruise line in the Caribbean, I think, for the last 19, well, 18 years running, it says right there. Um, and I think that might be off a year because uh, they did the vote in uh, December, and that was year number 19. So every year we've won best cruise line in the Caribbean. So we're going to take a look at that, but first we're going to look at Coco Cay. This is our private island destination in the Bahamas, and it has been totally transformed. Um, if you haven't been there in the last, uh, say, three or four years, you're in for a big surprise. I've got a, a short video that I want to show you that's going to highlight Coco Cay.
Perfect Day at Coco Cay. And this is how it lays out. Um, basically, the idea behind Perfect Day at Coco Cay is you have two choices. You can chill or you can thrill. I guess you've actually got a third choice. You can do both. And uh, this will kind of show you some of the things. In, the, in the, the hot pink color is the thrill. So we've got things like the zip line, the wave pool, splash summit, up, up, and away, the helium balloon, Daredevil's Tower, the tallest water slide in North America, 11 stories tall. How about that? And then if you just want to hang out, we've got plenty of beaches where you can just hang out. Oasis Lagoon, the largest freshwater pool in the Caribbean, uh, Chill Island, the beach. So whatever you want to do, you can do it at perfect day. Um, on the When you're looking at your screen on the left side of the big pool there, that's the uh, zero entry end. That's more family related area of the uh, the pool. Um, it's uh, it's like a beach. You just walk right in. The water starts out at just a couple inches deep, and then as you walk out further and further, it gets deeper and deeper. Over here, kind of in the middle, you see that hut around the pool. That is uh, the swim up bar, kind of more of an adult busy area. And then on the other side of that bridge, uh, to the upper left center, is kind of an adult quiet area. Uh, we've got, as I said, plenty of beaches. If you want to do a cabana rental or a beach bed rental, you can do that. If you want to upgrade your experience a little bit, you can go to Coco Beach Club. It's a more exclusive setting, their own private restaurant. Uh, if you're in Coco Beach Club, you're getting um, shrimp and filet mignon and, and lobster, while the rest of us are getting hot dogs and chicken and burgers and tacos. So just depending on what you want to do. And we've got these beautiful over-the-water cabanas that are available for rent if you want. So, again, you can customize your stay at Coco Cay however you want. Uh, and as I said before, plenty of free beaches. If you just want to hang out on the beach, you can enjoy perfect day at Coco Cay totally 100% without having to spend a lot of extra money if you don't want to. So we like to give you choices. Now, if you're going into the water parks, for example, or the zip line or up, up, and away, those are all things that have a charge. And you would set those things up uh, probably prior to your cruise. You can make reservations to go into these areas. And um, that's something that your Burst Travel Advisor can, can help you with as well. Um, and then, you know, again, we realize uh, we do deal with a lot of families. A lot of them have younger kids, and maybe they don't want to uh, pony up for expenses going into the water park. We have Splash Away Bay and Captain Jill's Galleon for the smaller kids. Um, so it's a, that's included in the, all the activities on the island. So there's no extra fee to enjoy any of these things. So Splash Away Bay is where we've got the water cannons and those big buckets that fill up with water and tip over. Uh, you can see some of the fun things on the pirate ship there, Captain Jill's uh, Galleon. Uh, so there's plenty of activities really for all age groups. Uh, and, of course, we're on a cruise, so we have to have food included, too. So Skipper's Grill and Chill Grill, those are the big buffet-style restaurants that are available. And when I say buffet, it's not really exactly true. When I think of buffet, I think of long lines. These have more like uh, buffet islands. So there's an island for tacos. There's an island for, uh, uh, for grilled things, for salad fixings, things like that, for desserts. So what I like about that is you're not always waiting in a line. You can kind of attack the taco bar from all sides, as an example. But all of the food is included there with the exception of just a couple of things at Captain Jack's. And that's more like bar food. So if you wanted something like buffalo chicken wings, for example, you can go there. And then we've also got uh, four um, burger shacks that are strategically placed around the island. Like there's one right inside the water park. Uh, so that you can go up there and get chicken sandwiches, hot dogs, burgers, fries, um, salad fixings, all of that stuff, desserts right there without even leaving the park if you want to. Um, and then just as I mentioned, pretty much all of our ships go there. I think there's about 17 or 18 ships uh, listed here. And uh, so it's almost every single ship in the Caribbean that uh, goes to Perfect Day at Coco Cay. And again, speaking of innovative ships, that's another thing that Royal Caribbean is really known for is the uh, innovative ships that we have. And uh, these are kind of the, the things that, again, are the signature uh, of activities or programs on Royal Caribbean. So entertainment is something that we're very well known for. Uh, with the exception of the Broadway plays, we uh, create and produce all of our own shows on board. 
We've got signature activities on all of our ships, like the rock climbing walls, for example. Uh, another signature activity might be the ice skating rink. Uh, where else can you go ice skating uh, on a cruise ship in the middle of the Caribbean? Uh, dining, we'd like to give you lots of choices there. Also, lounges and nightlife, we've got tons of choices there. Uh, as I mentioned before, we are a family um, related cruise line. So we've got lots of good family programs. We've got kids and teen programs. Um, we've got great fitness and spa facilities. Uh, the accommodations, again, we give you a huge variety of choice there. And, uh, and then our private destinations, we've got uh, right now currently two private destinations, Perfect Day at Coco Cay that we just talked about, and then also Labadee, which is in the, uh, the Western Caribbean. Uh, lots of uh, outdoor activities, pool activities. We've got the uh, Flow Rider Surf Simulator on most of our bigger ships. And then we've got really the unsurpassed service. That's the key is the, the crew that's on board all of our ships. The picture you see in the lower right side of your screen with the birthday cake, that's one of our royal genies that is uh, included in our top-level suites. So you've got your own personalized English-trained butler, but at Royal Caribbean, it's your royal genie. And then, again, the rock wall I mentioned, the Broadway-style uh, theaters, the pools, Adventure Ocean Youth Programs, sports courts. Um, Windjammer is our buffet dining restaurant. We've got comedy clubs. All of our ships have full casinos. All of our ships except one have a fantastic conference center space. And then we've got uh, Vitality Fitness and Spa. So we've got some of the largest fitness areas uh, at sea. And uh, just taking a quick look at Odyssey of the Seas, this is our uh, one of our newest ships. Um, it does six and eight night Caribbean. Uh, as an example, right now, uh, sailing out of Fort Lauderdale, it'll do a six night Western Caribbean, perfect day, uh, a day at sea, Jamaica, Georgetown, a day at sea, and then back uh, to Fort Lauderdale. And uh, it also does an eight night Southern Caribbean. So you get a chance to get a little bit further, Grand Cayman, uh, down to Aruba, Curacao, um, and then a couple nights at sea on that one. So uh, fantastic, fun ship. And they've got really some very unique uh, activities on board. Um, upper left is the sky pad. Imagine that's a, a bungee trampoline with um, virtual reality goggles that you wear. And I'll tell you, um, I've not done this yet, but I have enjoyed this so much because my favorite thing is just to stand outside the sky pad and listen to everybody having so much fun in there, the screams and the laughter, and just everybody is having such a fun time. Uh, Giovanni's Italian uh, Wine Bar and Kitchen is one of the specialty dining restaurants on board. When we talk about specialty dining, that means there's a, a little bit of an extra fee. Uh, the Lime and Coconut is our Caribbean-themed bar that's up on the pool deck. It's fantastic for sail-away parties. It's become so popular that when I mentioned before that we're spending millions of dollars updating the ships, Lime and Coconut is one of the more popular bars that we're adding to a lot of the ships. And then we've got a solarium on the ship. On most of our bigger ships, we have solariums. And those are basically adult-only areas, so they're a little bit quieter, a little bit more subdued, um, and uh, they've got either a retractable roof or uh, open roof inside, uh, but it, it's a nice, quiet spot where if you just want to get away and relax a little bit, not be out by the activity pools, it's a great place to go. El Loco Fresh is one of the new restaurants that came out on, uh, on Odyssey. It's uh, included in the cost of the cruise. It's a, a Mexican restaurant up on the pool deck. And then this is our ship that's got uh, the bumper cars inside the Cplex area. It's also the ship that has the uh, skydiving simulator, uh, the North Star observation pod. So it's got some really unique and fun things to do. And then our newest ship that we just took delivery from um, about 10 days ago, Wonder of the Seas. This is the world's largest cruise ship. It's uh, the fifth Oasis-class ship that has joined the Royal Caribbean fleet. And um, it's going to start sailing out of uh, Fort Lauderdale um, in March, March 4th, through about uh, April 14. Then it's going to do a transatlantic over to Rome, uh, actually to Barcelona, and the cruise is going to do seven-night med from Barcelona. Or you can get on board the ship in Rome if you want. So you can go Barcelona, Barcelona for seven nights, or you can get on in Rome and do Rome to Rome. So just depending on where you want to do your pre or post, 
or maybe it'll come down to where the best airfare is. And then she'll do another transatlantic uh, back to Florida, and she'll be positioned in Port Canaveral doing seven-night alternating Eastern, Western Caribbean uh, starting in November of this year. So a little quick look at, uh, at Wonder. A very quick, quick look at Wonder. Uh, you may have noticed there was a, a picture, a video of a, of a woman in a dress coming down a slide. Um, and that's actually in the Ultimate Family Suite, which is a suite. It's a two-level suite. It actually has a slide from the second floor to the first floor. It uh, will sleep up to eight people. In addition to the slide, it's got a Lego wall. It's got an in-stateroom uh, uh, movie theater. Uh, it's got an uh, air hockey table, their own uh, jacuzzi hot tub on the porch, on the uh, patio. So really quite a unique um, ship. And this ship um, is going to have some unique features, some new features that the other Oasis-class ships don't have. Um, we're going to have um, a reimagined uh, golf course on board called Wonder Dunes. So that's going to be a little mini golf course. Um, we're going to have an upgraded um, aqua theater area where it's a little bit more enclosed and a little bit more uh, of a 280-degree of a view. The pool deck is going to be... Um, going to have kind of a neat uh, new bar up there called New View Bar. It's going to be kind of overlooking the ship. And this ship is going to have um, an ace neighborhood. All the other Oasis-class ships have seven different neighborhoods. This one's going to have an ace neighborhood, which will be dedicated strictly to suites. So it's going to have more activities like a private sun deck, private restaurants, a plunge pool, all of these different amenities for the suites. So if you've got clients that are looking for a little bit more upgraded experience, uh, definitely putting them on Wonder in one of the suites is going to be the way to go. So as I mentioned, uh, we're going to be doing seven night Eastern Western Caribbean, and then uh, we're going to go to Europe, and then we will come back uh, in November and do um, seven night Eastern Western sailing out of Port Canaveral. And so let's just take a quick look at the accommodations that we've got. Uh, the other thing Royal Caribbean is known for is, is lots of choices. We want to give you lots of choices. So these are some of our staterooms here. The one that's top of the screen middle is, um, I think, the most unique stateroom in the industry. This is an inside stateroom, an interior stateroom with a virtual balcony. So you can see the, the virtual balcony there, and it's actually a real-time view of what's outside on your side of the ship. So it's real-time view, real-time sound. So if you're cruising along and there's a, a pod of, uh, of porpoises or dolphins following the ship and the, they're on your side of the ship, you can see that out there. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, if you like to sleep with the sound of the ocean, you can uh, turn the volume up, open your door a little bit on your balcony and hear the sound of the ocean as you fall asleep. So these are some of our basic rooms inside Ocean View balconies. And then we've got um, all the different suites from junior suite up to the bottom left is that ultimate family suite that I mentioned before. And you can see the slide from upstairs coming down. You can see the air hockey table there. It's got a Lego wall in there. It's really a unique situation, a unique room. Um, so again, whatever they're looking for, we've got lots of different accommodations. Uh, that'll fit just about any budget. Lots of choices, too, when it comes to dining. Um, this charcuterie board that you're looking at right here, this is from Jamie Oliver's restaurant. And um, I was on Oasis uh, oh, uh, this past November. And I'll tell you, that was one of my favorite things, my favorite appetizer. But again, we've got lots of choices. On an Oasis-class ship, there's probably, probably 24 different dining venues and the majority of them are included. The majority of them are complimentary. So um, we do have some that cost a little bit extra a la carte options in some restaurants. Uh, like what you're looking at there in the middle a la carte is uh, Sugar Beach, which is our uh, vintage candy store. And that you do have a charge for that stuff. Uh, specialty dining, there's typically a charge. Uh, but again, my time dining, it lets you be flexible or you can do traditional first or second seating. Uh, we've even got um, family my time dining, which is where 
we um, kind of give the kids expedited service so that they're done by the time mom and dad are like still on their salad. And then someone from Adventure Ocean comes down to the table and takes them away from dinner to Adventure Ocean so they can have uh, fun up there and mom and dad can have, um, you know, family time uh, at the table without the kids. Um, I mentioned the kids programs. We have kids programs that are open every day, every ship, every sailing. Um, lots of different uh, fun activities. We've got family activities like laser tag, for example. We've got escape rooms. We've got uh, lots of pools and water slides on the ships. Um, and again, this gives you an idea from um, six months old up to 17, we've got the kids covered. Um, Royal Babies and Royal Tots, on those programs, um, there are some fees for that. Otherwise, Adventure Ocean, age 3 to 17, there is no fee for uh, being in those programs. Um, so that's a nice uh, advantage there, too. And then entertainment and nightlife, again, we've got uh, a plethora of options. Uh, several of our ships, uh, about seven of them, have uh, Broadway uh, shows on board. Liberty of the Seas has Saturday Night Fever. Harmony and Independence have Grease. Anthem, We Will Rock You, Allure, Mamma Mia, uh, Cats on Oasis, and Hairspray on Symphony. So these are the, um, the full Broadway productions that you would spend uh, you know, hundreds of dollars to see in New York. They're included on the uh, Royal Caribbean ships. And then we've also got all of our own um, original productions. We have our own um, uh, rehearsal studio in Hollywood, Florida. It's the largest uh, rehearsal studio of its kind in the world. We have every single stage uh, can be uh, replicated from every one of our ships in that area, in that rehearsal studio, because we constantly have new people coming in to replace, um, you know, the actors and actresses that are uh, taking part in our different shows, the entertainers. Uh, for yourself, if you like uh, nightlife, we've got lots of options for you there, too, from busy things down to more quiet things. We've got themed parties. We've got live music and dancing, cocktails and wine. We've got casinos and game shows. So, again, just whatever it is that you like to do, we can do it. And if you or any in your, in your family have any special needs, we can help with that, too. Just let your uh, travel advisors at Burst Travel know they knew who to contact at our company to make sure that uh, we can take care of those special needs, whatever they might be. And this was the Cruise with Confidence program that I mentioned uh, earlier. Uh, this was just extended through the end of March. So that means any reservation that's booked on or before March 31 for sailings departing um, on or before the end of September, this is where you can cancel up to 48 hours prior and get a future cruise credit. So it is intended to really put you in control of your vacation. If for any reason at all you want to cancel, you can do that. Also included with that is a price guarantee. If you or your travel advisor from Burst Travel find a lower price right up to 48 hours prior to sailing, we can match that price. So again, uh, a good advantage and a good reason to book with the local Burst Travel advisors because one thing i can tell you if you book direct with royal caribbean we are never ever going to call you and say hey can we give you some money back because your price went down if you call us we'll do it but we're not going to be looking out for you like the agents are at burst travel the royal caribbean app is a relatively new within the last two to three years um, this is something you want to download on your smartphone it lets you do all kinds of stuff you can actually check in for your cruise uh, before you get to the terminal you can do the, the safety briefing, the lifeboat drill that you just have to go and do on the ship. You can do that from home. Uh, so there's lots of fun things that you can do with that, lots of uh, interesting things. You can also do, a, we have a guest-to-guest -guest, uh, chat program that you can do, so if you want to keep in contact. Uh, but one of the things that's become very important lately is to be able to give you pre-cruise um, instructions, pre-cruise communications. So these are some of the things that uh, we, we that are different now from before. For example, we have a staggered arrival. So you actually make a reservation for when you want to show up at the pier because we don't want everybody coming at the same time. We want to be able to practice some physical distancing. Uh, same thing with like health questionnaires, things like that. Um, you can do a lot of that stuff on your phone. 
And right now we do not have a paper brochure, but we are going to be printing those. So uh, within probably the next 30 days or so, your uh, travel advisor from Burst Travel will be able to get you a printed brochure. In the meantime, though, we have a digital brochure. And if you want one of these, just contact your travel advisor at Burst Travel, and uh, they can send that out to you. Uh, or you can go to royalcaribbean.com and get a brochure there, too. Uh, either way. And then these are some of the promotions that we've got going on right now during um, the month of February. So any reservation that you make sailing after March of this year for any time into the future, we're open for sale through like April of 2024 in a lot of cases. So 30% off every guest in the stateroom. So it doesn't matter if it's one guest, two guests, four guests, eight guests. We've got a, a, two, uh, a four bedroom uh, suite that sleeps 16. All 16 people get 30% off. We've also got a 2022 kicker sale that will get you up to an extra $150 savings. Um, if you're a past cruiser with us and you're a Crown and Anchor member, you can get an additional bonus up to $50 onboard credit. Um, if you've got a future cruise credit, that you received from us in the past. Um, you can redeem that and also get a $100 onboard credit. We've got reduced air rates if you're looking to go to Alaska or Europe uh, through our Flight Finder program. And then we have free upgrades on select ships on Oasis and, and uh, Anthem out of New York and Navigator sailing, sailing out of Los Angeles. So these are all things that the Burst Travel Advisors are familiar with. They know how these work. They know what's combinable. They're designed to get you the best value. And just announced today, starting tomorrow, we're going to have our WOW sale. This is our most popular and, uh, and richest offer that we have at Royal Caribbean. It's up to a $400 onboard credit, and it's combinable with everything else that we talked about previously. So you get all those other things. 30% off, Crown and Anchor member onboard credit, redeem an FCC $100 onboard credit, and then the WOW sale up to an additional $400 onboard credit. That's going to be based on your length of cruise and your stateroom type. So, for example, if you're on a three-day cruise in an inside cabin, you're not going to get as much of an inboard credit, onboard credit as if you were in a balcony on a seven-night cruise. But the experts at Burst Travel know all about this. They can help you through that. The main thing is the sale starts tomorrow, Feb 9, and goes through Feb 14. So you need to make reservations during that time period in order to take advantage of the WOW sale. And this is, uh, again, just a little bit, um, you know, uh, I talk about how good we are and so forth, but it's nice to see some other um, accol accolades that come in. Um, these are some of the awards that we've won. Uh, best Cruise Line overall for 19 years running, Best Sales and Service for 14 years, uh, Best Private Island uh, since 2020, um, Best uh, Cruise Line in the Caribbean for the last 19 years, um, Best Cruise Line Entertainment, uh, Best Cruise Ship overall, Symphony of the Seas. So these are just some of the awards that uh, the readers of Travel Weekly, and these are awards that travel agents vote on. And uh, so I think that says a lot because they are the experts in the industry and um, they know what they're talking about. So that's what we've got for today, for tonight. Um, Gretchen, does anybody have any questions? Hello, sorry, Gretchen? I tried to unmute myself and I lost my screen. You can hear me, right, John? Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, I don't see anything in the chat box. If anybody has any questions, you can throw something in there. Otherwise, um, I think I can unmute everyone. Um, let me go ahead and unmute. And no, let me see here. Yep, I think I can. Um, so if you have any questions, just speak up um, or throw something in the in the chat box. If not, um, in the meantime, um, I just wanted to um, remind everybody that the best way to reach your, your burst travel um, advisor um, is if you have their email, to email them directly. 
Um, if not, you can go on to our website, birchtravel.com, go to locations and, and find the, the office or location near you. And uh, there will be a contact us form where you can fill it out and ask for more information. Um, and then somebody will reach out to you and, and um, get back to you to help you, you book your Royal Caribbean cruise. Um, and otherwise, you can call the office. The phone numbers are there also. We have some limited office and some of our limited hours in some of our locations, but um, always leave a message or like I said, email or send that contact us uh, request in. And um, if you're interested in that wow sale, just like John said, it runs through next Wednesday, but that is some, that's a really good offer. So if you're thinking you're ready to book, um, now would be the time to do that, to take care of that, um, to take, take advantage of that offer. So doesn't look like we have any questions. Again, I want to thank everybody for their patience with our technical difficulties. Um, but um, <laughs> we got through it and um, it's very exciting. It's nice to see everything um, happening and the ship's back sailing and enjoying the sun and the fun. So everyone have a good night. Thanks again. And remember, we have um, this recorded and it'll be on the website. So if anybody else, you know, anybody else that wants to listen to it, have them just go to burstravel.com. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. Thanks for your time.